Good morning and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark. Walk around what's arguably one of the nicest 2014 Wranglers uh, that I've seen for a long time this morning. We'll start off at the front of the car and just run through all of the additional things that the previous owners put on this car. As you can see, we've got our unique 4x4 bull bar, our UHF aerial attached to the It is compatible with this particular bull bar also. Got the protective uh, bonnet protector there as well. Finished in metallic silver. No real great marks that I can see around the car. A little bit of a touch up on that uh, additional black uh, flare on the side of the car there. Um, we've also got the Safari snorkel as well. Um, wheels. We've got upgraded suspension. Um, and as you can see by the tyres on the car, pretty much as new, so a, a really good depth of tread on them as well. As we come down the driver's side of the car, once again the paintwork presents really well. We've got our side steps incorporated there also, and then uh, our black hard, hard lid or hard cover on the car as well, and then the flexibility of going to the soft top if we want to. Uh, once again, no real marks or scratches. A very minor little mark just on the edge of our tailgate there, but I'm probably being fairly pedantic just to point those things out so you're aware. As we get to the rear of the car, we've got uh, obviously the upgraded 4x4 uh, rear bar on the car as well. You can see that it's also fitted with the plug there. Um, and, and once again, I'm you know struggling to find any real marks on the car, so um, I'm really happy as I walk around this car, just having a look at the exterior of it. Um, just the way it presents, it's an extremely attractive car to look at. So back around to the front of the car now, we'll have a little bit of a chat about the power plant in the uh, Jeep. Uh, as you can see, powered by a 3.6 litre V6 motor, um, certainly going to give us the power that we need when we're, when we're off-road or climbing hills. Um, simply lock that uh, bonnet into place up the top there. The 3.6 litre motor is going to give us 209 kilowatts of power and 347 newton metres of torque. It still delivers fairly good fuel economy though, 11.7 .7 litres combined per 100 k. So um, it's really going to do everything you want it to do off-road if that's the intention that you're going to use the car for. So around to the rear of the car now, we'll have a bit of a look in the back of the car and uh, there are plenty of extras in the back. The soft top's actually not in the car at the moment, but we've got all of our protective mats that can go into the car and all of our shade covers as well there as, um, as you can see the Eclipse sunshade as well. Um, and just the condition of the rear of the car uh, ex presents extremely well. Our big uh, roll bars as well, speaker in the back there. Um, but just presentation wise, once again, it's really consistent. It continues when we're in the inside of the car. Here we are inside the Wrangler now, and we'll just run through all of the features and just pay particular attention to how well it presents inside the car as well. On our driver's armrest, we've just got a manual lock and unlock button for our uh, doors. Um, at the front here, just a button on the right hand side there for our lights. Um, on our leather wrapped steering wheel, our cruise control settings there, and then our audio and uh, menu settings there as well. Um, bear in mind with the Jeeps on the back of the steering wheel are your controls for your volume and to change between tracks or stations on your audio. Moving into the centre section now, our air conditioning vents which you can open and close, all of our audio master controls, obviously AM, FM, CD player, all of our Bluetooth settings and everything there as well. Um, our auto windows in the middle there as well. And then down below that, climate control, air conditioning and heating, traction control button, downhill descent control, and then adjustment for our headlights as well. And uh, our exterior mirror controls there as well. Five speed auto in the Jeep, coupled with your four x four lever on the left hand side. And then directly behind that, our handbrake. Generous size cup holders there as well. And then underneath our coin tray, a really good size um, storage compartment with a 12 volt outlet and auxiliary 
Um, and then there's our uh, handset for our UHF as well. Um, we'll just scan around the interior, have a good look at how well it presents. Certainly um, consistent as far as how clean it is inside and out. Um, consistent with the exterior of the car actually. And then I'm just going to have a look at our service books. Probably should have dug those out earlier, but that's okay. This car's only done 46,000 kilometres, so extremely low Ks for its age. Um, and as I said earlier, I don't know, uh, but we'll have a look in our summary. We'll have a look underneath the car as well and just uh, see if it's been off-road at all. As you can see by the service history, extremely, uh, extremely involved. All of our services all the way through from new, done more so uh, by time frame more than kilometres because it's such low Ks as well. So uh, certainly really impressive everything about this car. So I hope this is giving you a really good idea of the quality of our 2014 Jeep Wrangler this morning. Uh, one of the, as I say, one of the nicest uh, Wranglers I've seen for a very long time. Only 46,000 Ks, perfect service history and really well maintained. Uh, also qualifies for a premium mechanical protection plan that spans five years, gives you fixed price servicing with a free loan car and 10 years premium roadside assistance. So uh, make sure you do take advantage of that when you do look to buy this car. And give us a call on 9907055 and one of us will be able to assist you further.